Hey everybody, welcome back to RPG Imaginings. I have a plastic bag, and this plastic bag features the products that I snagged today at Free RPG Day 2024, which is always an exciting day uh, for the channel in that I get to showcase to all of you what I was able to snag at my friendly local game store for free RPG day. We have a lot of great game stores here in Omaha. And this year, for whatever reason, there weren't many restrictions for free RPG day. Uh, meaning that, uh, normally they're like stringent, like you have to spend X number of dollars to get X number of samples for free RPG day. Um, well, that was not the case this year. And so I was able to grab a little bit more than I normally would. The good news, if you're wondering in the audience though, is that I signed up for a pre-release tournament for Star Wars Unlimited uh, Shadows of the Galaxy set anyway, so I still spent almost $150 uh, at the store uh, for me and a bunch of friends, and we're playing several pre-releases over the course of the time that the set is released. So it's not like I didn't spend some money at my FLGS, and as you'll see later in the video, there is a reason why I spent spent uh, money on a RPG product that I've been interested in. But I'm going to do this in waves, and the first wave that I'm going to do is what I actually went to Free RPG Day to get, and so that's this stack right here. Uh, so as you can see, Dungeon Crawl Classic 2024 Free RPG Day Module. This is usually my top selection for Free RPG Day. Uh, Goodman Games has always done uh, participated in Free RPG Day and always has some kind of product, whether it's for Dungeon Crawl Classics or uh, Mutant Crawl Classics. And this year it is Ju Dungeon Crawl Classics Across the Veil of Time by, Mar by Marzio Muscadere, um, a level one. DCC RPG adventure, and it follows the style that you would expect from a DCC adventure. Um, it's a small adventure. It's, you know, clocking it in under uh, 15 pages, under 20 pages, and it's just a couple of uh, encounter areas. Um, looks like we're under 15 pages, but um, it has some cool handouts and an advertisement for DCC and MCC in the back. And uh, so, yeah, I'm really excited to give this one a read and see where it might fit into fantasy games that I'm playing. Uh, and so DCC Across the Veil of Time. Next, we have the X-Men free expansion preview for the Marvel Multiverse role-playing game. Uh, this is a role-playing game that I've been following since its inception. Uh, it has some uh, nice dice mechanics that I like. Um and they're finally releasing the X-Men expansion, given that Marvel has secured the rights to X-Men over the last couple of years. And so this is a preview of the um, X-Men supplement that we'll be releasing, I think, sometime this summer. Maybe it's this fall. Um, you know what? Maybe we should read the introduction here to find out. Um, blah, blah, blah. This will be followed by an excerpt from the X-Men expansion, which builds on the rules. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. Does it give us any mention about when the X-Men expansion is coming out? Uh, no, I'll try to look that up before I post this video. And so we have a little overview of X-Force, including different variants of X-Force. I've read a few of the X-Force comics. Uh, we have what looks like a mini adventure for X-Force, rules for joining X-Force, we have character stats for Bishop, that's cool, character stats for Dazzler, character stats for Gambit, remember it, mon ami, nice, and there it is, okay, and so, uh, oh, here we go, summer 2024, I was right, the X-Men expansion is coming out, okay, so, um, if you're interested in the MCU, uh, I I think that this is the best modern rendition of Marvel role playing that has been released. I think that it is better than some other recent iterations of the Marvel role playing that have uh, been out there. Uh, does it beat the original Marvel RPG? Well, honestly, it kind of depends upon what you value in a role playing game. 
Um, I think that modern versions of Marvel RPGs have some things going for them that older games did not. And I think that there are one or two things that older games had going for them, but I'm very interested in the Marvel Multiverse RPG. And so I picked this up as my second pick at my FLGS. Okay, moving right along. We have Avatar Legends, the role-playing game, free RPG day adventure, Rebels and Refugees, and this is taking place during the 100-year war era. Now, I have had Avatar Legends, the role-playing game, on my radar for months and months. It wasn't... I didn't get really excited about it until I actually watched the Avatar series that is out on Netflix. So if you have Netflix, check out the Avatar TV series. It's really good. I enjoyed it. I haven't read the comics. I haven't read, uh, I, I haven't uh, watched the car, uh, the anime series. I also haven't watched the terrible movie. Actually, that's not true. I watched 15 minutes of the terrible movie and switched it off. Okay, um, but the new TV series, the live action TV series, is really good. And I'm sorry, it's not on Netflix; it's on Amazon Prime. Okay, you got to have to, you have to have Amazon Prime to watch that series. So if you have Amazon Prime, check it out. Okay, I really enjoyed it, and uh, they've done a really good job of supporting this game. Probably the biggest thing that I've noticed uh, is that the products are really high quality. Like the quality of the paper that is involved in the products, they really went all in on quality products for this game. So um, this is taking place during the Hundred Year Era, and um, I don't have info on the eras right here, um, and I'm not an Avatar aficionado, but there's the Aang era, there's, uh, okay, so working backwards in time, there's like the Korra era, there's the Aang era, there's the Hundred Years War era, there's an era that I'm not sure on, and then the original era is uh, the era with um, uh, one of the fighter avatars, I think. Um, we'll see it shortly, little preview of the rest of the of the. Uh, video. So uh, I haven't really explored the mechanics of this game in depth. This is by Magpie Games, but I am interested in it in that it looks like a um, pretty, uh, how do I want to describe it? Uh, creativity focused rule set. Um, there's moves. I don't know if that's an indication that it is like uh, powered by the apocalypse. I doubt that. I think that they just probably called them moves in a uh, martial arts sense. Uh, but here's some character sheets at the back for this particular uh, scenario. Layout is beautiful. Colors are beautiful. It really pops. It's really high quality paper. So in terms of like owning role playing games, this checks like a lot of the boxes for me in terms of like overall quality. Um, let me see if it gives a mention of any of the mechanics here. Yep, it is Powered by the Apocalypse. That's cool. Okay. <laughs> and I love Powered by the Apocalypse, so everybody wins here. Okay. I'm sure on the back here it must, be, it must say somewhere Powered by the Apocalypse. Nope, it doesn't. Okay, so you had to read the text in order to understand that. Um, my FLGS was celebrating its 10-year anniversary today on free RPG day. And apparently they've been trying to move avatar product because anybody who purchased an avatar product got a free special themed D six. And I'm not sure if these came for free RPG day or if this is just stock that they had on hand. My gut says that this was part of the free RPG day package. And whenever they're like extra, particularly notable, uh, additions to the kits, uh, they will establish that you have to do something special in order to obtain it. So some of you might be wondering, well, what did I obtain in order to receive the free die? Well, all you had to do was purchase one of the Avatar Legends, the role-playing game products. Not only is the starter set out, but the core book is out. And then there is also a city setting book that is out for Avatar Legends. And that is something that I probably will definitely acquire because this game is looking really cool for me. 
What I purchased, because they had 20% off on all role-playing games on this day, is the Avatar Legends starter set. And I wanted to just showcase it here um, relatively quickly because I don't want to spend too much of the video time uh, on something that isn't related to free RPG day. I'm not trying to bait and switch any of you or anything, but I, you know, I figure extra content is extra content. And so um, first thing that I want to no notice... Uh, Okay, I got this. <laughs> First thing that I want to mention about this is that the production quality is really, really high. Okay, let's um, uh, let's check out the back here. You get a 32-page booklet of condensed rules, a 40-page introductory adventure that features the Pirates of Crimson Sails and the Burning Fuse set in two different eras. You get dice. You get uh, 21 combat action cards, 10 illustrated pre-generated character sheets, 6 rules reference sheets, a large full-color map of the Four Nations, a unique code to unlock a full digital version of the Avatar Legends RPG starter set. Okay, so let's uh, crack this open and see what is inside. I'm going to be somewhat careful here because I, don't, I want the PDF of this, so I'm not going to share the code. Here are the dice. Nice, like, navy blue color, okay, featuring a yin and yang-like symbol with the fishies, like from the series. We have some special combat cards. I'm just going to check these just in case, yep, they, I don't want to show the code if the code happens to be in here. And so it basically gives you some details on how different moves work. And it looks like there's enough cards in here for every player at the table to have a set of cards, which is really nice and is great. Forethinking on the part of Magpie doesn't exactly surprise me at all because Magpie produces really good products. Um, we have this full color map of the Avatar universe. Okay, it's on really good paper, but it's pretty much a miss because there's no labeling on it whatsoever. And, like, in terms of the utility, like, what? You'd, like, show it at the start of a game session, and then you would, like, write specific locations. Um, the game is intended to, under a lot of circumstances, have a sandbox feel. So, you know, I'm an experienced game master. I know that I can just take little, like, uh, sticky arrows and label different sections of the map really easily. But to have a map like this blank in the starter set, I don't really see a lot of utility of this uh, for the newer game master or the newer player. So I really think that this is a miss on this particular set. I mean, this whole set is $25. So it is priced very economically, and the production values are really high. Overall, I like what I've seen in this starter set, but I just want to mention anything that I see that, you know, it uh, has some limitations. The paper quality on these books is superb. This is like a textured paper for the cover, and the paper inside is really weighty. And so in terms of production value, it's really, really good. Uh, here are the eras that you can play in, descriptions of each of the kingdoms that exist, and uh, what's going on with bending and trainings, and then details on the rules, playing the game, and the rules, quite extensive. I'm not going to go into uh, detail on this, but there are some specific sections in here that are all about teaching a GM how to run a game which I think is absolutely necessary in a modern age of role-playing. This is the adventure booklet. Okay, there are two adventures in here. I'm not going to dive into this uh, in great detail because we don't want spoilers here. But we have during the Aang era, the Pirates of Crimson Sails. And uh, this adventure seems to be more of a direct flow adventure and uh, with GM advice at the end. And then we have a Korra era scenario, The Burning Fuse, and this one is a sandbox. It uh, has an overall summary of what's going on, key NPCs, um, locations, and uh, then basically says characters can go at it uh, as they prefer. Once again, really high quality paper on this. Then we have character sheets. Okay, they come in this nice little plastic folio, 
and these are maybe some of the most high, some of the highest quality. I mean, this is up to, I will say, Chaosium standards for character sheets. Okay. This reminds me of the RuneQuest, uh, role playing set in particular, and that these are full color. You get lots of choices. It is very clear that, uh, Magpie took inspiration from Chaosium as everybody should be taking inspiration from Chaosium on their starter sets. And these are just some amazing uh, character sheets that you get with the game. So value wise, this is a great value. They are probably taking a loss to try to get you into the game. And I mean, it also, I, I would argue sends the psychological implications as well that, um, I mean, I get the feeling we care about you as a gamer. We know we're going to take a loss on the starter, but we have enough confidence in our game that we feel like you are going to be able to want to purchase more as a result of this. Now, it said there was a code here. Okay, so I'm going to get this last piece out. I haven't looked at these um, um, reference sheets yet. Um, when I open the box and these are very difficult to get out of the box. They are kind of wedged in there They just barely fill this up. Yeah, as expected There's a code on the bottom of the box and I want that code. So I'm not going to show it to you, but here are the Move sheets, okay, and these are really nice cardboard looks like it comes with about five or six of them and summarizes everything that you need in order to be able to do cool moves in the Avatar universe. So I was able to get this product at my FLGS for $20, uh, which is a great deal for not only the quality of the set, but also celebrating the 10 year anniversary of my uh, FLGS. Uh, this is the Game Shop Omaha location in Omaha. It's not the first shop, it's the second shop. The first shop was in Bellevue, which is in Southeast Omaha. And uh, Game Shop is my favorite shop in the Omaha area. And so there we go, that's the Avatar stuff that I was able to snag here on Free, P Free RPG Day. What about the rest? Okay, well, they didn't have any limitations. So I grabbed stuff. Now, just wanna throw out there, I did spend a lot of money at the game store. So I don't, I, I don't feel like I took them for a ride or anything like that. I mean, the idea behind free RPG day is that you get free materials and it's encouraging you to shop at your local game store, which I did. Okay. We have dragon Bane, the sinking tower tournament style quick start. This is going to be really interesting to read. I've featured dragon Bane on the channel. Um, The production value is really high. Uh, this is kind of a legacy game from Sweden, is my understanding. Um, and, of course, this is Free League. Um, just a lot of variety and a lot of new stuff in a scenario. So, you know, nothing to complain about here. The Sinking Tower for Dragonbane. That's pretty cool. Okay, next... I have no idea. So this is the Cobalt Press offering. Uh, Cobalt Press is a sponsor of the channel. Thank you, Cobalt Press, but they didn't sponsor this. An, intro an introductory adventure for the Tales of the Valiant role-playing game, Shards of the Spell Forge. Four to five first-level characters. The machine must be destroyed. Looks like this is 5e. In Shards of the Spellforge, follow a trail of malfunctioning inventions to a mysterious machine, the last remnant of a forgotten civilization. In this adventure, the heroes solve the mysteries of a disappearance and arcane devices going haywire, investigate suspicious townsfolk, loathe to part with their precious gadgets, claim and wield ancient magical technology, confront a cult of devolved techno-worshipping monsters, dive into this quick, easy-to-run, easy-to-play adventure, and discover the tales of the Valiant RPG for yourself. So this is an offering from the folks at Cobalt Press. And it follows the same basic layout and art style of a lot of uh, recent Cobalt products, which is very good. Um, we have an advertisement for map tiles. And looks like this is designed to be run with map tiles. 
And then we have Tales of the Valiant, uh, which is basically a variant setting, it looks like, for 5th edition. Okay? Cool. The Shining Shrine, an adventure for 2nd, 7th, 12th level. Hope you brought sunscreen. Uh, this is by Loot Tavern. Uh, and it says, Heliana's Guide to Monster Hunting. I'm not sure what that is. Um, long story short, this adventure typically takes around six hours to run in its entirety, two hours of clue gathering, tracking, and preparation, followed by a four-hour, three-wave boss battle. To fit with free RPG days, 90-minute runtime, you can do the following. So it suggests on what to do. And uh, it's signed by Heliana, um, who... Let's let's look at the credits here and try to figure this out. I guess Heliana must be an in-universe person in this universe. And I mean, it looks like it's 5th edition to me. Um, does it say 5th edition anywhere on the cover? Heliana's Guide to Monster Hunting. Does <laughs> It doesn't specify 5th edition anywhere on the cover, but we should be able to divine that pretty easily just by looking at things. I mean, yeah, it kind of screams 5th edition. Here we have the personality uh, appearance of an NPC defined as a gnome druid. Um, so yeah, I'm, pr I'm pretty sure this is for 5th edition. I'm pretty excited about this because this looks like a nature adventure. Um, it looks like it features... Uh, druids as a key component. You know, now that I'm th thinking about this, I'm glad that I grabbed that because I grabbed this because when I first read the descriptions about free RPG day this year, this is one that I wanted to pick up. And so it seems like my gut instincts were in line with, <laughs> with uh, what I was thinking. Um, and uh, for those of you who don't know, I drink, I main druids in Dungeons and Dragons, regardless of edition. Um, so yeah, glad I picked this up. The Shining Shrine looks like a really good product. And then finally, this is one that I didn't know anything about. Uh, Hollow's Quick Start, The Sins of Grisham Priory. This looks like a horror game of some sort. Let's read the back. Oh, and it's got this fun, shiny web pattern on the back. Um, pay attention. Can you feel it? A wretched knot of rust and ruin, a creeping cancer beneath the skin of the real, a wound in the world. A hollow, the isles, your home, the haggard heart of a lost empire is beset by them. Sickness, murder, madness, and poverty wash across the land in their wake. The populace are powerless, and those in charge are too co uh, cosseted to care. I don't know, should that say closeted? I don't know. But you're not. With your grim tools in hand, you can kill things ten times your size. You can sleep off death and wake up with nothing more than a headache. You are a conduit for something great and terrible. You are a hunter. Start hunting. The Sins of Grisham Priory is the quick start edition of the Hollows role-playing game. This book includes innovative tactical mechanics, make boss fights delicious, crunchy, fast, and thrilling. I don't know, that kind of gives me like a Dark Souls vibe if we're featuring boss fights and tactical mechanics. Um, not exactly my jam, but you know, peep, some people will like that and I support them. Rapid advancement in adventure lets players experiment to find their ideal build. That's cool. Evocative world building from the minds behind Spire, the city must fall. That's good to know. Heart, the city beneath and eat the Reich. Learn more about Hollows and purchase the full version here. Well, I'm definitely going to check it out. I'm interested to at least uh, read through this and uh, maybe take a look of, at the PDF on uh, drive through or their website and see if it might be a horror game worth delving into. Um, it's pretty unlikely for me because I don't do combat-focused games as much, but I love reading role-playing games no matter what happens because... I want to have an opportunity to gain ideas a lot of the time. And so probably one of the most successful free RPG days in recent memory for me, and I'm happy to share it with all of you. Now, I do have uh, quite a few videos coming up on the channel. We played Gamma World First Edition at our vacation with friends in June here, and... 
Uh, I'm excited to build a Gamma World first edition character here on the channel. I think Gamma World is probably the strongest out of all the first edition TSR offerings. Um, and I have great stuff coming up on the channel for Traveler and for uh, Chaosium games. Um, I have a Pendragon novel that was sent to me that I'm in the process of reading and will uh, showcase here on the channel to help people to understand how you can get into a true medieval world in your Pendragon games. So there's lots of cool stuff forthcoming on RPG Imaginings. Thanks everybody for watching. Happy free RPG day to you. And I hope that you get to your FLGS sometime over the next couple days. And I hope they have some product left for you. Have a good day. Bye-bye.